Hey, this is my comic pool for January 18th, 2017. This is a pretty short week, only five titles. Uh, so first up is Dark Horse and Angel Season 11, number one. So this season starts off with a title change. Uh, no longer is it Angel and Faith, which it's been for the past two seasons. Uh, once again, it's simply Angel. <laughs> I'm not sure where this leaves the Rogue Slayer uh, as she is absent from this issue. Uh, in fact, the first issue centers around just Angel and Fred who have gone to Ireland to perform an exorcism for a friend whose hotel has been kind of overrun by poltergeist. Uh, we do get a brief appearance by the Fairweather sisters, or the aunts as they're called, um, as they talk to Angel and Fred over Skype, um, but they're really the only ones from last season that we see. Um, as I spoke about before, I'm not entirely happy with the return of Fred slash Illyria. As you know, Fred was killed in the final season of the television series when, in a very heartbreaking episode, um, Illyria hollowed her body out and then she took over the empty shell. Um, you know, Illyria then spent, you know, pretty much the rest of the season trying to find her place in the world. You know, she had been this ancient demon god king who was stripped of, you know, much of her power and whose kingdom was, you know, long since crumbled into dust. It looked like she was, you know, kind of on her way to becoming a reluctant hero by the end of the season. Um, then we got the Angel comic. And first there was that whole, you know, L.A. goes to hell storyline, which, you know, pretty much took away any growth that the character had achieved. Um, not long after that, uh, she kind of disappeared for a while. She finally turned back up in season nine of the Buffy comic, where she, you know, apparently toppled to her death while aiding Buffy and crew in, you know, restoring magic to the world. In this past season of Angel and Faith, uh, Fred mysteriously reappeared. You know, she'd mystically been resurrected by the rebirth of magic, with Illyria along as an unwilling passenger. And, you know, this is the part that I really hate. Um, while I liked Fred, and her death was very tragic, um, I really felt that the character had run its course. Now she's back, and you know, instead of just being a remnant that lives in Illyria, uh, she's in control. The only time Illyria emerges is when Fred's threatened, you know, like the Incredible Hulk. And Fred now has the ability to rein the god back in and regain control of her body. Uh, so most of the time, Fred is just Fred. You know, she does research, and she's the plucky sidekick. I mean, do we really need that? Angel's character roster was pretty full by the end of the last season, so I'm not sure we have that spot open. <laughs> anyway, I hope that this comic surprises me this season, and they actually do something interesting with the character. Um, so, moving on to DC and Lucifer number 14. Lucifer, Gabriel, and Mazikeen plot to overthrow the new god. Meanwhile, the power vacuum in hell stirs up those who would hope to fill it. Um, I'm really losing interest in this one. Uh, I'm seriously thinking about dropping it. Uh, you know, I've been here before with this title and it managed to hook me again. I'm not sure this time it's gonna happen, but I'll give it another couple of issues. Moving on to Nightwing number 13. Nightwing and the runoffs have a difference of opinion, but undeterred, uh, Dick discovers the murderer's true identity. It's another good issue. Uh, I like Dick in the runoffs. <laughs> that sounds like a punk band name. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about Marcus II's art though. You know, sometimes I think it's great and sometimes I'm kind of like, what the hell? Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, on to Marvel and Spider-Gwen number 16. So Gwen teams up with Spider-Man Miles Morales to search for his missing dad, but they may not like what they find. Uh, this was an okay issue, but it took me a bit to kind of figure out what was going on since this is part of a crossover story. Ow, you're heavy. <laughs> um, which is one of the problems I have with this comic. Um, this makes about the third crossover since I've been reading this title, which really annoys me since I don't read any of the other titles that's been crossed over with. Um, too many more of these, and I'm not sure I'll stick with this one. And finally, hit Star Wars Doctor Aphra number three. Uh, to get back her doctorate, 
Afra reluctantly agrees to take her deadbeat archaeologist dad to an isolated moon where he hopes to prove his theories about an ancient spiritual sect. Um, unfortunately, that moon is Yavin 4, the location of a recently abandoned rebel base, and it is crawling with stormtroopers. This was another good issue. Uh, there's a believable father-daughter dynamic, uh, some funny moments with the droids, and Black Carstanton uh, is a total badass. Um, so far, this is shaping up to be a pretty good title. Well, that is it for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you think about it, please drop me a comment below. I always love hearing from you guys, so see you later.